I heard my, my friend, I was talking to my friend about the story yesterday. And my friend told me that somebody has counted it up and it's a total of 139 times that you need, that the quest objective is to speak with Wook Lamont. Is that true? Where can I find this? Where can I find where somebody has counted up the number of times that you need to speak with Wook Lamont? Does anyone know? Uh, if you find it, put it in React content suggestions in our Discord server so that I know where it is, because I'm curious. It does feel like it's every single objective. She has 7,000 words in Dawn True. Dude. That's just the times that the quest objective is to speak with her. And now think of all the other times where she, that's not the quest objective to activate the cutscene, but she's still in that cutscene talking. Uh, yeah. Like yesterday, for example, somebody wrote it on Reddit. Yeah, I haven't been able to find it. Has anyone counted how many times? There's all 100 quests and their objectives. You can copy paste it to a text editor to see how many matches your term has. Total of 139 speak with Wook Lamont and other variations, with total of speak with objectives being 369. So when you speak to someone, it's a 38% chance it is with Wook Lamont. 139 times. Oh, man. There's 30 objectives where you talk with NPCs or interact with items. AKA the, let's split up the gang and gather some definitely useful information. Well, I can't, I don't want to look too far into this because there might be spoilers in it, but yeah. I'm not surprised because yesterday, let me ask you this, let me ask you this. If you're with a group of people and everybody's talking and then one person in that group looks to you specifically and says, hey, can I talk to you for a second? What does that mean? What do you think they're implying? What are they actually asking you? It means, can we talk in private? That's what that means when someone asks you this in a group setting. It means a one-on-one, -on -one. exactly. Exactly. And Kona asks you to do this. He's like, I just wanna to talk to you for a second, you specifically. And Wook's like, oh, I'm coming to <laughs> And Kona's just trying to show you the job armor that he set up for you with his Charlie and connections. And there's no reason at all that Wook needs to be there. Zero, none. But she's there. And Kona's like, yeah, so um, I got this set up for you with my Charlie and connections. And Wook is right behind you. And she's like, yeah, it wasn't that so nice of Kona to do that for you. That's all she adds to the conversation. She's like, yeah, wasn't that so nice that he did that? He's so nice. I'm just like, girl. Please. 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 He wanted to give us a gift. That was between me and him. It's... The, the, it's like, yeah, it feels very clingy. <clears throat> I just need space. I just need space. And I really think that um, it doesn't matter how likable they made this character. This could have been the most likable character in the entire game that was written amazingly that everyone loved. And if they did this to any character in the game, everybody would be annoyed as f because she's constantly, constantly, constantly there at all times. Every time I look around, she's there. Someone asks to speak to you in private and she's there. She's always there. It's like, it's so exhausting. This has nothing to do with her as like, the fact that she's a boring character, you know, that adds to it. But even if she wasn't, even if she wasn't, even if she's not a boring character, uh, the way that she's written in, is uh yeah they did her a disservice i agree with that uh, I, I felt like that from early on i felt like they kind of did her dirty 
because I liked her a lot in the beginning. And I was excited to go on adventures with her and spend time with her, but I just got so so fatigued that I, I've, I've now reached a point where I just, I, I want time away. <laughs> I've never had this experience in a game before. I've never, I've never gone through this in a story before where I felt like one character was always, always, always at my butt. Yeah. Yeah. I think that if she had been more of a side character, people wouldn't have any problem with her. Really. Uh, I really don't think that it would have been an issue. If she had just been written normally. It's bizarre. It's bizarre what they did. Yeah, I mean, we saw this uh, poll, this unofficial poll of uh, Japanese players of who's the top 10 most popular characters. Wook was not in the top 10 at all. And uh, this is insane considering how much time you spend with her. So I think that this is something that's kind of universally felt. Um, yeah. You should probably finish before going into too much detail. Well, there's there's only the only things I can go into detail about are what I've experienced so far. So, uh, yeah, this is just how I feel so far. Uh, I'm always open to change, but this is my experience up to this point. Before I started, uh, I heard someone say that when they started the story, they loved Wick Lamont, and then they got annoyed. And then they loved her again. And then by the end, they didn't want to be around her. And I'm like, holy That's, that's what, that's what's happening to me. That's what happened to me. Never took the spotlight from the wear of light. Got it. Um, I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't mind being a side character or background character because that's the case in Genshin Impact. Uh, I really love the Genshin Impact story. And most of the times you're just watching what goes on. You're not really taking an active role in a lot of things. You're kind of witnessing other characters. And it's a fantastic story uh, that I've really enjoyed the whole way. And so I feel like I don't need to be the center of attention in the story, it's fine. Um, but there are, at the same time, there's going to be points in the story where given who you are and what the story has already established about you, it might be better for you to not be in the scene at all, uh, because your inaction or impotence <laughs> is, um... hard to believe there's been a bunch of cases like this where you you couldn't intervene or you couldn't contribute in a more significant way in spite of your established power level so uh, some of the things there they, they kind of back themselves into a corner a little bit <laughs> the way that they've ridden warrior of light up to this point it's one thing to take the spotlight but the issue is that it feels that every character acts out of well character to make her shine yeah i i do agree with that i do agree with that of course i'm gonna be putting all this into a, a, all my main concerns into my summary video uh, but yeah I, I at a certain point i felt like because i felt like all of the writing was there to serve uplifting her as a character to the point it suppressed the personalities of everyone around her it's it was very strange at certain points it was just it was weird it was weird 